Vice President Biden, Vice President. <laughs> that was a joke. That was all set up. Yeah, former President Barack Obama cracking jokes at Biden's expense yesterday, calling him vice president. Democrats flocking around Obama while President Biden really stands alone, appearing to be unsure of what to do. We'll show you that video in a moment. Obama was back at the White House yesterday for the first time since leaving office for an event commemorating the 12th anniversary of the Affordable Care Act. This video, James Freeman, of watching everybody surround President Obama and uh, President Biden seeming to not know what to do or where to go while everybody's crowding around Obama was sad. Your reaction? It was just a strange event all the way around. You mentioned former President Obama making a joke at President Biden's expense. I was wondering if he, if Mr. Obama wasn't a little irked. They invite him back for this anniversary to celebrate his law, and it turns out they use it to promote what a fix for what they call the Affordable Care Act family glitch. So this is the Biden White House saying, well, there's a problem with Obamacare. It didn't uh, allegedly provide enough subsidies, uh, and now we're going to talk about fixing it. So this is, this is kind of weird to invite someone back and say you're celebrating their signature achievement and then talk about why it's flawed and needs to be amended. Well, this is sort of a second Obama administration anyway, Brandon. There are a lot of, uh, you know, leadership positions in the Biden administration uh, where those people were in the Obama administration. Uh, then there was talk yesterday that Obama would start these regular meetings with with President Biden. Uh, we did not get confirmation on that. We don't know if President Obama is going to be meeting with Joe Biden, uh, you know, weekly to discuss policy. What are your thoughts on what this tells us about what's to come in terms of Obama's input on President Biden's policy? Yeah, I think Biden needs to stay away from Obama for the most part. Not only does Obama upstage him by being far more charismatic, being funnier, more energetic than Biden is, but he's also giving him some pretty lousy political advice. He told Biden, he told members of Congress, indeed, that they should run on their record, run on the successes that they've had in this Congress. And, of course, when they did that after the, uh, the Affordable Care Act was passed, it was absolutely disastrous for Democrats. The same will be true, of course, in November if they run on their record, if they run on their policies that have contributed to inflation, to runaway deficits, they're going to get clobbered again. So it's bad policy advice coupled with this really bad PR disaster where, where Obama looks way more energetic and way more charismatic than Biden does. And, and, and James, you mentioned it earlier, Obamacare is one of the reasons that the Democrats are watching their, their poll numbers fall. Yeah, we shouldn't uh, lose sight of the fact uh, that, that Obamacare has been a disaster on the merits, and not just because Mr. Obama broke his signature promise that you could keep your doctor and keep your health plan if you wanted to. Uh, what we've seen is rising costs, health care now taking a larger share of GDP than before the law, and lower life expectancy. So on the fundamental yeah. measures, uh, of, is America healthier at a lower cost, no. Less healthy yeah, at higher right. cost.